Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to RPI Data Science YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to show you something about modifying um, your uh, a function with an R. Um, let's say you are running a regression model or you are running um, some kind of data analysis. Uh, to do that, you are loading a library uh, and then within the library, you are accessing a function. Um, and that function didn't didn't achieve the, uh, the goal you want. So in that case, you may want to modify uh, the function. So uh, to modify a function, uh, you need to be very careful. So um, there is a way to modify a function. Uh, this is actually this video is actually mainly for advanced R users. Um, I found I found it useful for some some of the package that I have to modify uh, the function that's written uh, by uh, some package author or something. Uh, but uh, to modify, I just modify the package and then I can achieve uh, my goal. So to do that, uh, if you want to modify a package, uh, I mean a function, let me say if you are, uh, let's say this is LM, it's to run a linear model, a linear regression model. But if you want to modify uh, the way or if you want to access how this LM function was actually written, what you need to do is you just press your control key and then double click here. So if I double click and then press control key and double click, so then you will access uh, the way how this function was written. So you see um, it's new function trays and um, so it's a whole bunch of uh, uh, text uh, functions written if else command and it's a really long uh, function. Uh, that's uh, how the uh, LM function is actually written. So that's uh, what you need to do to access, but otherwise you can also use uh, your uh, uh, keyboard, I mean your uh, function that is trace, this is a, a base R. So if you want to use, uh, if you want to modify the uh, the way the package written, so you use uh, trace and then LM, and then you need to use edit, edit equals true, or you just write T or true. Now, if I do this, if I run it, so I will have access to um, directly how the fact uh, the function was written uh, in R. So let me, if I want to modify, if I want to modify, what I need to do is I should not change something here. Otherwise, I will uh, uh, I will mess up the way the function is written. Um, what I need to do is I need to copy this um, copy and uh, put it into my own function. Let me uh, let me give it a name. For example, my uh, own progression my own LM um, and then uh, I can copy and I already copied it I can paste this um, so I have now um, the whole thing is pasted here let's say if I want to modify something depending on what you need to do let's say if the original function is not meeting your requirement so what you need to do is you just copy and paste and then you give it a name so you give it uh, you give it a name you assign it into a different name um, otherwise uh, if you um, if you change it uh, from there, uh, what I mean is from here, um, if you change something here, so that means you will mess up the way the function is written. So be careful here. Uh, so in rather, you need to give it, you need to assign it to a different name. Then you have to uh, closely look at your function. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the way the function is written. And then if you have to change something, uh, you just change something and then you save it into a different name. Uh, so that you can uh, use it for your own purpose. So let's say I'm, I'm calling this uh, my own linear model and I'm running this and then um, I'm using this uh, uh, function instead of uh, LM to run linear regression model. I can call this uh, my own, my own, um, my own LM, LM function. And then uh, let me run something, let's say um, the empty cars data that means HP uh, plus uh, MPG. Uh, that means uh, HP as a function of MPG. And the data is uh, uh, empty cars. Empty cars. And let me, probably I made a mistake here, empty cars. So this is how it's written. And then let me call summary function so that to display the linear regression uh, result, summary of the linear regression result. And uh, what I need is let me close this bracket and then run this. So now I'm not using LM, uh, I'm using my own LM. So that means uh, I can directly run linear regression by just 
um, accessing my um, my own function, my own LM that I you know I didn't I didn't change anything. Uh, so that means this is a copy of the other. So that means uh, yeah the whole result is uh, is exactly the same. But this is how you change it, how you change the, the original function. Uh, this might be dangerous if you if you replace. Uh, so you should make sure that you are not replacing the uh, the original function. So what you need is you need to replace it or you need to assign it with a different name. I found this very helpful. Um, let's say I was recently running um, some bibliometric analysis for PubMed uh, literature. So I'm, I was just using, for example, uh, this bibliometric package. Um, so uh, bibliometric package has uh, this thing called merge, merge database resources. So it, um, when you have um, when you have like uh, multiple uh, database resources and when you upload them in R um, and then you want to uh, remove the duplicated recovers. Let's say what you need is again uh, trace. Uh, so I call this merge database resources and uh, not this one actually, merge database resources. So it's here. Um, I again missed it. Merge database resources. So that's what I need. And then uh, trace, as I said, trace equals true. Then you will have access to uh, to the way the function is written. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, probably it didn't. Uh, okay, tracing function merge database in package. Mm, okay, bibliometric package. So it will uh, it will give time, and I think it will it will need to access it. But otherwise, you can also um, um, simply call this, and then you will have access to double click as I said. Then you will have access to to the whole function. So what I did is like uh, this thing uh, will help me to. Uh, let's say, you know, if you are accessing literature from PubMed and Web of Science and um, from many other resources and you put them all together, then you want to um, remove the duplicated records because sometimes uh, a record that happened, you know, that appeared in Web of Science may appear also the same in, uh, you know, in in PubMed or something. So when you have uploaded everything in InNote and then you read them in, in R, so you might it might be useful uh, to... Um, remove the duplicated records. So this bibliometric package uh, helps me to uh, to uh, remove the duplicate records, but it doesn't tell me, um, let's say, if you run something, let's say if I'm running, um, if I just, uh, let's say, if I'm running this, uh, so we have science, uh, and um, this is another resource, so if I run this, so it will give me um, so six duplicates documents have been removed. So I will not access these six duplicate documents because the way this package is written is to um, um, it is written only to uh, to remove the duplicated. But I, if I want to access the duplicated records, that means I need to modify uh, this function. The way I need to modify this function is let's say here you go uh, you go to a function and then instead this remove duplicated. Uh, you give it uh, false, so you assign this into false, and then you go again, you read uh, everything, and then let's say uh, the whole thing is needs to be similar, but at the end, I will just need to change something here. So let's just, I just need to change something. Uh, so I will remove this, uh, this D, this exclamation sign, and that's because that's uh, the document that needs to be removed, uh, and then it will achieve uh, the goals that I want. So let's say, um, if I do this um, again, if I change this function with merge new, because I already written, I already saved it in a different package, so I will have access to these documents. So let's say if I run this, um, so what you need is it will need to tell me um, actually the message uh, should be uh, not this one. Okay. Anyway, um, so if I show you how I change the function, so I change uh, merge new, I call it merge new, and then remove duplicates, it's changed it into false, and uh, the message is also changed into, instead of duplicate documents have been removed, I changed it, it, changed it into duplicate documents have been kept. So it's, it's, it's just, um, I'm using this uh, package um, to to do the exact opposite, the exact opposite. 
So to do that, I, you remember there was this exclamation mark down here. I removed that. Um, so and again, see, there is something this exclamation mark. So th there might be sometimes, uh, sometimes you, that might be useful to, you know, to change uh, the way the function. I mean, the, the way the function is written in a package. Um, so if you change something, you may want, uh, you know, you may you may achieve your goal. I mean, uh, so it might be useful. Uh, to change sometimes uh, the way the function is written and um, and save it in your in your own function. I hope this is uh, helpful. In the future, I will make more videos on um, let's say uh, um, uh, more on uh, text mining. Maybe also uh, creating uh, your own uh, website uh, using R. Um, there are many packages like at, uh, for example Distal. In Distal, you can create uh, using Distal you can create a website your academic uh, website. Um, or uh, you can also, I, can, I will also try to show